parts of the country. Welcome to this Mantan Chintan, whatever we want to call it, this gathering of minds. Main purpose, I think, of um, me, I'm really happy to see so many people from so many institutions working in different aspects of gender. This conversation must go on. In fact, these two days, I think, is really an invitation to deepen, broaden, lengthen the conversation on gender. Things keep changing in the gender space and you all know it much better than me. There are stalwarts here, I don't know, is Sujata here? I don't know. People from Koro, people from, say, uh, is Ravi here? I don't know. Okay, there you are. So, a lot of stalwarts, hello there. So, and a lot of young people who are doing very innovative things. We are very proud of the young leadership of the organizations in this whole space. We are always looking for more partners, more work to expand this field. Uh, many people from the donor communities are here and I think that's very important because we want to expand that scope of work and you no know, one funder, two funders, even ten funders are not enough for the challenge that is before us. But I do want to say every time we are constantly reading up on these things and every time we are discovering things that we didn't know, discovering things that we need to do more of. Just hardly may I learn there's a new piece of research from Australia and that went very counterintuitive to I think what the community has been saying for a while. They interviewed uh, men 16 or 18 to 62 and they found what was surprising to me, they are saying that the role of fathers in their research at least, the role of what the fathers were doing did not influence the hegemonic masculinity that was displayed in that group. And the single most important correlation they could find was that of the peer group and that of friends. And they found the more hegemonic the display of masculinity, the sharp drop in the quality and quantity of uh, relationships and friends. It's something for us to ponder about. What does that mean for our work going ahead? Should there be much more focus on what's happening in the peer group? Should the peer group feel like a much safer space for people, both among women, men and all genders? So many questions like this on my, are on my mind. I'm very excited. I'm here to listen and learn. And I do hope this is a safe space where we can talk freely both about our worries, our convictions, our differences, very important, our differences of opinion. It is now six years since I made a slightly controversial speech in Delhi at a conference called Bridges, where I don't think um, everybody was on the same page as me. I apologize in any case saying that I'm saying these things for the first time, because some of them were very immature things that I said because I was just learning. But we have been trying to learn, go deeper, come with courage, come with empathy. I think these things are very, very important um, for us to hold as values. Uh, and our creativity, our empathy and our commitment are three things that I hold very dear in this community. And I look forward to learning from each and every one of you in these next one and a half days. Thank you again for coming. And over to Natasha again. Thank you so much. Dhanyavad. Men are frightened of showing affection in Haryana. And love is the core of human coexistence. 